and welcome to the last video in our feature build for this series on Rails development. I've had a fantastic time going through all the videos with you and I hope that you got a lot out of it. In this last video what we're going to do is perform calculations in the application. So we're going to run a number of different calculations to give totals for each one of the line items and then also totals for the entire invoice. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is come to app and then go to views and then go to invoices and down to show HTML. Now because right now all we have is name, category, quantity, and price. We want a total for each line item. So I'm going to copy price and call this total. That's going to give us a total for each one of it. And all of it's going to do is multiply the quantity by the price and then output that total. Now the next thing we're going to do is under T body, we need to keep track of a running total for this invoice. And so there's a number of ways you can do it. I'm going to do a very easy and straightforward way and just create a variable right here to hold it in. So I'm going to do running total equals zero and make sure that that does not have a uh, equal sign because you don't want to print this out yet. So just put that there and now we want to have our total value so you see that we had quantity price and then total so for total I want to just copy this paste it down here I want still number to currency so I want to keep this and now all I want to do is grab this put it in front do an asterisk which stands for multiplication in Ruby and so we have purchase quantity times purchase price and so every time this goes through the loop it's going to multiply these two run the currency generator on it and then show what that running total is so that's a really nice and easy way to get the running total and now the uh, last thing we're going to do is come down and we want to print out the total for the entire site so or for that entire invoice so I'm going to actually grab this add new line item and I'm going to put this under the main div give a, a break and that's just going to cause a line break to occur and now I'm going to call h4 class equals pull right because we want this all the way to the right hand side and say invoice total and put in some embedded Ruby and this time we do want to put the uh, equal sign so we do running total so all this is going to do, and there, there, like I mentioned earlier, there's a lot of other ways to do this, and if you're making this for a production application, you'd want to put a lot of this logic in either the model or controller. Uh, but this is fine for right now because it's really nice and easy and straightforward to see how it's working. So uh, what we have here is a call, and it's going to take the invoice total text, and then within that, it's going to call the running total. So this loop ends right here where it says end and so with each iteration of the loop every time it goes through the data whether it's for one record or a hundred records it's going to iterate through and it's going to keep on adding to our uh, variable and so the um the one thing we have to do before we can test this out is actually you know put our running total catch all essentially inside of here so uh, I'm just gonna put it right inside at the very end and this is you know not gonna be seen this is just gonna essentially run in the background and so I'm gonna say running total equals running total so it's gonna take in other words everything it's gonna start at zero because the very first time this is gonna be zero because that's what we set it to and then it's gonna add on so I'm going to do plus, and then I'm just going to take purchase quantity times purchase price. So I'm going to take this, copy it, paste it in, and end our call. So the way this is going to do, it's just incrementing running total by whatever this is. So every time through the loop, if uh, purchase price was 10 and quantity was 1, it would be 
10 times 1, which equals 10. So this starts at 0, so it would be 0 plus 10, so running total would be 10. And if it only had one product, that means when we come down here, the invoice total would be $10. So it's a really, really neat way of uh, being able to do this quite easily. And uh, one last thing, um, just to make it look pretty, you got to take number to currency, come down here, and actually put that around running total. So whatever gets printed out will also have this uh, you know, good looking formatting. So I believe this will work. That's a, a little bit of work without testing it. So uh, we'll see if I made any typos. But preview this, go to invoices. I'm going to click on show. And there we go, it works perfect. So just to kind of explain how it all works, we have added total, and total takes price, multiplies it by the quantity, so in this case, 49.99 times two is 99.98, and then on the next one, it does the same exact thing, takes 100, multiplies it by one, and it's 100. Now, while all this is happening, this total keeps on getting added up, and as you can see right down here at the invoice total, it's 199.98, which is what both of these add up to. Now, this gets updated automatically, so if I click add a new item, and I say big product, and I'm gonna say category is expensive, and I have a quantity of seven, and I have a price of 150. Now, what's going to happen here when I hit Create Purchase? It gets added, and as you can see down on the bottom, we have Big Product. It's 7 times 150, which equals $1,050. And that just got added automatically, this invoice total. So the two new total is $1,249.98. If I take the top line item off, hit OK. Now the invoice total is 1150 and it would just keep on updating as I went down the line. So this is a really nice and easy way to show you how to uh, take values, how to run calculations, and it's actually a small algorithm in order to be able to increment those up. So great job if you went through that, um, especially fantastic job if you went through all the video series. You now have a, a really a, a great performance app with a number of different database tables. You have the proper relationships between the tables to perform complex joins and continue to build out this application. And you can take this code that I've helped walk you through and you could actually turn this into a full-fledged enterprise application with adding things like payroll management or really anything that you could imagine. Those are the kind of things I build out on a daily basis. So I think you should be able to have a really nice start for that. Uh, in the next video, I'm going to talk about some you know, kind of things where you can go from here. And so stay tuned, check that one out. And uh, I'm proud of the way everybody went through it. You guys have had some great comments in the comment section and have asked some you know, some really good questions. So please keep that up. I'll keep answering them. And I will see you in the next video.